Hello? Hello, Mr. and Mrs. St. John, please. Is that uh, Mrs. St. John, is it? Yes. Pat Parf here, Mrs. St. John, Cork Constitution, spokesman on the environment. Yes. Uh, we've made a rather shocking find this morning. Yes. Now, we found a set of teeth, and we figure they must have been Mr. St. John's because of the, the wicked smell of beamish from them. Yeah, they're Billy's. <laughs> How, in the name of God, did, did, did he lose them? Well, for Billy and Pierre. Oh, please do. One minute. Hello? Mr. St. John? Yes, sir. Pat Parf here, Cork Constitution. Who is this? Pat Parf. Yes. Yeah. Cork Constitution in Temple Hill. We made a rather shocking discovery this morning. We found a set of teeth. Now we've had representations from Dolphin Rugby Club all day looking for said same set of teeth. And I'm led to the conclusion that they belong to you, sir. Well, my lovely kid, I have my own teeth. They're not belong to me at all. I know I had a lot of beamish in con, but mm -hmm. they're not belong to me, old stock. It's not keys I'm talking about, Mr. St. John, it's teeth. Who? Teeth. False teeth? False teeth with a distinct whiff of beamish from them. I should be what's the doing a smell of Guinness from the f***ing things. Are you denying they're your teeth? I have my own teeth. Well, whose teeth am I in possession of here, then? They could be Sean Dole's, because his teeth are very loose in his head. No, I'm just saying, Mr. St. John, we can't have people from Ballyfehan coming over here, drinking and imbibing too much and leaving their falsies behind them. Oh, didn't we pay for what we drank? You did, but I mean, you were in a shocking condition, leaving, obviously, if you left without your teeth. Yeah, no matter, Adam. He was surprised at something else there, wouldn't it? Like what? Listen, my dear man, I'm half sick now and trying to cure myself. I'd say you must have had a couple of gallons all right. I'm f***ing dying. Are you what? I'm f***ing dying sick from drink. A man of your age and constitution, pardon the pun. Yeah, I should have uh, don't you think you're overdoing it a little? Why? Imbibing that much alcohol can't be very good for the system. Well, I don't know, no, but the beamish is good anyway, and I'm drinking it. And how many pints at all did you have last night? I believe there was a ruckus in the d as well. Oh, Christ, you mentioned that place to me. What happened there? You know what, the wallet nine months pregnant going into that place? I beg your pardon, that's actually a fine establishment. It's a fine establishment, but their prices are fine at all. What kind of prices are you, were you paying? Maybe you're used to paying dolphin prices now, but oh, here, yes. over here in Temple Hill, we, we, we like to... Oh, should not enjoy the sing-song? The rowdy sing-song out of you and everything. Well, but Adam, you could have... Um, why did you f*** up the place of you? Didn't like it? No, I'm, I'm asking you, why don't you leave and not come back, Mr. St. John? Why, God, that's right. You're not welcome at all, I must say. It's not cricket. Well, I'm going to lose a lot of sleep over that. You're, you're a very arrogant little man, you know. Listen, my dear man, I have no f teeth. Mm hmm And now you know what you can do with them. Give them to some fella down in the hospital or something. Well, I must say you're a horrid, baldy, little, obnoxious creature. You gotta go away and f about that. Mr. St. John. Yes? It's my pleasure once again to welcome you to Cork's Big Breakfast. Go away, you b mick. I'm trying to cure myself, you know. Are you in a bad way, Billy? I'm very bad. Well, how much did you have? I did an awful lot. I did. And is Boyle mad with you, eh? I'm in the dark house. Are you? I am. You'll be okay in a couple of days, will you? I will, buy. Yeah. After three days, I'll be grand again. And did you lose the teeth, really? I didn't know. Oh, we got a story up here you'd lost your teeth. Yeah, there's some dirty people all up in Dornal and Dornal and them. The Billy Morgan clan. Oh, they're drinking Billy's, do they? No, they have coffee every morning. You should come in, we can have a cup of us. And no drink passes the lips. Well, if there was a kind gentleman came up, he would...